The president welcomed several small business owners to the White House for yesterday's announcement. Joining us right now is Fast Signs International CEO, Catherine Monson. Catherine, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Maria. I'm honored I saw, to be here. I saw you yesterday in that shot. You were right next to the president during his speech. Tell us about how Fast Signs, your company, is going to be benefiting from these changes. Well, Fast Signs is the largest signage and visual graphic graphics franchisor. We have over 660 locations, 590 in the United States. And each is a small business owner. They each own their own business, average 10 employees. So what we're going to be able to do with an association health plan is really have that supply chain, that purchasing power. And rather than having a franchisee try to get insurance, a group insurance for one location with 10 employees, now we can take those 590 locations, each with 10 employees, and pool our resources and get a better price for 6,000 of our franchisees employees so it's really taking that franchise business model and the power of purchasing power and supply chain and bringing it to the advantage of our franchisees and more importantly to the advantage of their employees really bringing quality affordable health insurance to their employees and you're a small business so it's got to be that health care was one of the biggest costs for you or is the biggest cost for you is that right Exactly right, and we've seen our premiums skyrocket year after year. Our franchisees have had that same situation, and this ability now to pool our resources with association health plans is going to be just fantastic, not only for Fast Signs franchisees, but all small business owners, because small businesses can pool together with any, any association, whether it's the NFIB or whether it's the International Franchise Association, but bringing that strong purchasing power that big companies already have. This order, Catherine, at Stegan McDowell was just signed by the president. However, are the insurance companies ready to act on it? Have you had conversations with insurance companies about setting up these association health plans and have they quoted you lower premiums? Well, we haven't actually gotten that far yet. Those, uh, those uh, insurance companies need to first know that they have the ability to sell insurance across state lines and bring that competitive pricing power to bear. I'm going to guess there are some insurance companies that would prefer that this didn't happen because they like to have that higher margin, more expensive insurance for small companies. But we need to bring this fairness to small companies that big companies already have. Catherine, uh, it's Kevin Kelly here. So I, I'm a small business owner, and I think one of the biggest things uh, to, to consider is can I band with another small business, and how does that look like? What are your thoughts on initiating this um, and implementing it? Are you going to have you already started, and are you going to designate and hire somebody to overrun and oversee this as an association just for fast signs? Well, we would look at it lots of different ways. One would be in a, a health plan just for Fast Signs franchisees. But if you think about the power of pooling small businesses together, probably even better prices could come if we had an International Franchise Association plan. I'm on the board of directors of the International Franchise Association. There are over 733,000 small businesses in the U.S. that are franchised. So instead of looking at getting the pricing power for 6,000 Fast Signs franchisees employees, we could be looking at millions of employees and then bring even better pricing, better quality health care with more options to all of those members of the International Franchising yeah, Association. That's a big deal, Brian Bloomberg. Catherine, so the president is moving here with a stroke of a pen, and obviously you're a big fan of what he's doing, but what's done with a stroke of a pen can be undone with a stroke of a pen. Are you really still looking for Congress to step up here and provide some legislation to provide a more comprehensive solution to what's going on with health care or are you just is this the best we can get at this point well I hope it's not the best we can get and you have been absolutely reading my mind I don't know how, quite how you do that <laughs> uh, we're we're very excited about uh, HR 1101 which was passed with great bipartisan support in the House of Representatives just last March and it has been languishing in the Senate you're exactly right. An executive order can be undone the next with the next administration. So we really need a legislative fix. And I'm very hopeful that this, the president signing this executive order is going to get some pressure on the Senate to take up H.R. 1101 and pass it, because that is an amazing way for us to codify, if you will, association health plans. It's a very important bill. Uh, just real quick, one thing in the Wall Street Journal today with uh, President Trump ending the subsidies to health insurers, the journal's reporting that pre the president has told at least one lawmaker he would support preserving these payments. 
if the deal, the bipartisan deal between Lamar Alexander and Patty Murray comes together. So these subsidies might not go away. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to point that out. It's Catherine, what do you think about that? Well, I think that sounds like a good negotiation plan. Mm. <laughs> That kind of the art of the deal, so to speak. He's a deal maker. <laughs> Catherine, good to see you. Thanks so much for uh, talking with us this morning. Thank you for we'll having me. We'll be watching me. the developments. Catherine Monson uh, joining us there.